here really quickly and answer a very frequently asked question, which is how I cut Rumi's nails. You know, if you don't know a lot about Rumi, I recommend you watch the first video I made about him. It talks all about how you travel with him and living in our van and what kind of food he eats and basically how to care for a sphinx cat because they are obviously a lot different than our cousins of hair. And so Rumi's nails are extremely long. So I'm going to show you how I cut them. Obviously every cat is different. I mean, you can see he already is ready to get up. He usually doesn't like it, but he doesn't freak out too much. So I just grab his butt, you know, and place it down nicely. I put a dirty towel on my legs so that I can catch any nails that are gonna fly anywhere. So I sit him like this. I put his back up against me, grab this. Do not cut your cat's nails with a human nail cutter. It is not the same. You need to get this type that you can like go in sideways. And it's pretty much the same thing for dogs or cats because I think this one was like for dogs, but yeah. Grab the nail cutter, make sure that my hand is over his chest. That way he can't really escape much when he's trying to because it's dangerous if you're trying to cut while he's trying to escape. So, and then I make sure I grab his hand and you, usually the nails are not completely out. So you'll want to take it and like push back the skin so that you can see the full nail. Like usually you see it like this. You don't want to try to cut it like that. You want to pull the skin back like that so you can see the entire nail. And you can see where inside, where it starts to turn pink, that's not where you want to cut. You want to cut this clear, sharp part. So you take your nail cutter, go right over this area, and snip. Obviously sometimes it does sort of a messy cut, but Rumi always ends up fixing that himself. So, yeah, you can see how sharp these are. We don't want them to be that sharp, so just snip off the end. And then sometimes you run across a dirty nail like that. And I clean it. This one's not that bad, actually, but I'm going to cut just a little bit off of it. Yeah. Ching! I'll probably go back and clean his nails after this. Because they are dirty. Whoa, dude. All right, there we go. And then I sort of like move him over to my right breast when it's time for to do his left side. That way I can use this hand to sort of go hold his chest down. It can go pretty quickly. Beautiful. He really does not like the rear paws, so I only do the rear paws when they're very, very sharp because, excuse me, it's almost done. Almost done, almost done. So for the rear nails, I lay him down even more. He really doesn't like this part, but uh, I just check them to see because if they're kind of dull, you don't really need to cut your cat's back feet, but because he's always with us, always on our laps, if they're too sharp, when he catapults off of our laps or when he jumps on us, it's still like, is painful. Very painful. So I like to make sure that you these... gotta pay your dues when you have a cat, man. Yeah, for sure. So some of these are pretty sharp. <laughs> he really hates the back part. See his tail? Yeah, when his tail gets going, that's how you know the time is almost up. <laughs> I know, it's just so annoying. I know, just so annoying, my bubba. All done! <laughs> okay, and to make sure that he knows. <laughs> Give me that. You want treats? Come. I'll get treats right here. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> yeah, so. Want one more? One more. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Make sure to lay down a dirty towel or something to catch the nails or do it outside, do it in the area where you don't care about. The nails getting into the carpet, have some treats handy, that way you know that there is a reward at the end of this torturous moment. Don't do the back feet if you don't have to. Um, make sure that you have them up against your body. It helps them be a little bit more calm than trying to like do it facing them. Yeah, that is how you take care of a cat because if you wanna get yourself a feline, you need to be responsible for caring for what the creator gave them. It is absolutely unethical and cruel to 
get a cat and then take it to be declawed. That's like someone taking you to a doctor and getting your nubs cut off because they don't just take the nail off. They have to take the entire nail duct out. So imagine going and getting your nubs taken off and all you have is nubs now. It is completely cruel, so that's not an option. I hope this video helped you in a little way. If it did, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, right? <laughs> And subscribe if you are interested in our channel. We have a lot of different topics, so I'm sure you'll find a video that resonates with you. And uh, comment below if you have any more questions about cat upkeep and Ruby in general. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. And now we can go take a bath. Right, Ruby? You ready for the bath? Yeah, now it's bath time. Yeah.